when the league thinks you have a mental ailment or weakness, they push you away, which is why a lot of guys hide. And until that becomes open, equal dialogue, players are going to keep hiding it. We have to create a culture within the league where it is okay to have an open door policy. I was going into my fourth season. I just got picked up off waivers with the Colts. I was going through a manic episode. I told myself I was going to quit or I was going to get help for real this time. And I knew with Coach Dungy being there with the Colts that I had a, a chance. I walked into the office and I sat down and said, I haven't slept in five days, Coach. And I was sitting there thinking, I'm 26 years old. I'm a linebacker in the league. And here I am talking to these guys about my emotions, about my anxieties, about not being able to play football. I didn't feel like a man that day at all. You know, I came back six, six, uh, six weeks later, they extended my contract for two more years. Just because you go in and ask for help doesn't mean it's the end of it for you. I, w I wish, I wish like hell I would have had the guts that you had to go in and, and talk to somebody before all it, it, it got bad. I was really like, you know what? They're trying to get rid of me every year anyway. I'm just gonna keep my head down. I'm gonna grind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I have to do on the field and, and to stay. And that's the stigma that we that we portray as football players. You know, it's you're a man's man. You know, we we get hurt. Ah, rub some dirt on it. There you go. Men are taught from when they're born to be stronger, be tougher. You know, look past things. I think it's wrong. I think that by opening up that day, you begin to open up a new life for yourself and for others that see you moving into the right direction. Guys that are mentally strong can make this league much better.